Good morning and welcome to Capable of Many Things. My name is James and today we're going to be discussing QCAD. QCAD, the free two-dimensional CAD software. And today we're discussing specifically uh, how to adjust your preferences and how to set your default for QCAD so that every time you work with QCAD, every time you open up the software, you're going to have the same settings each time. We're also going to show you how to make the adjustments should you want to do something else with QCAD that's outside of your normal day-to-day -day use of QCAD. Uh, for instance, I like to use isometric, uh, do isometric drawings within QCAD, especially when it comes to doing sort of mock-ups of pipework, so on and so forth. So let's get capable. All right, so diving in, we're going to go to our edit button within QCAD and we're going to start with application preferences. So we're going to set our defaults first. Here under edit down at the bottom we can hit application preferences and we are met with a, uh, a little outline user interface here. Here's your defaults for new drawing. Now you have a lot of other features here you can mess with. Today we're only focusing on the defaults for new drawings. Uh, so here we're going to go ahead and hit dimension settings and let's see what kind of options we have available. We have uh, keep size and propor uh, proportion for texts. Um, and that's going to be something that can come into play depending on the scale of the item that you're working on. If you have items of a larger scale, whatever units you have, so if it's inches, millimeters, what have you, um, ensure that whatever text height that you're going to use standard is going to match whatever scale you're going to be working with. So if you're working on a micro scale, like an eighth of an inch, and you're working on this intricate small piece, you can adjust that accordingly here. All right, so number formatting and arrow style, you can change the way your mouse actually works here, looks uh, as you're working on the screen. I tend to prefer an arrow, but you know, to each their own. You can also use an architectural tick. Uh, when it comes to your label formatting, especially for certain types of dimensions, uh, it may be easier for you to see it in fractional dimensions as opposed to uh, decimal percentage. So you have a couple of different ways to view this data. I tend to use decimal simply because a lot of the other systems I use are going to use a decimal value and I'm able to work with that. But fractions are a, a rather useful tool when it comes to other forms of of design, particularly carpentry fractions. Um, fractions seem to uh, rule the world in that particular regard. So you can adjust those here. Again, I use decimal in this case. Uh, same thing here for decimal degrees. If you want to go degrees, minutes, seconds, and get really visual on how those, uh, how those values will work, uh, feel free. Feel free to use it in any way that best fits you. For me, I'm using decimal degrees and decimal linear dimensions. Okay, uh, we have that here under drawing unit. Uh, looks like I haven't set any drawing unit here, so we're gonna go ahead and select inch, because again, I'm working in imperial units here. We're gonna go ahead and select inch, and paper unit here is also gonna be inch. Again, all of, my, all of the documentation that I'll be building for this will be in inches as well. We want consistency throughout everything will be inches okay so we have that we have dimensional settings that's been adjusted and there all right let's go to our grid uh, this is where we can have a lot of fun um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply these here fantastic they've been applied yep beauty um, I can also select uh, isometric grid. So when we go into actually adjusting this drawing, I'm going to show you what an isometric grid looks like within QCAD. So you get a little bit of a better idea, but you can automatically set an isometric grid. You can also add multiple viewports. So if you want multiple panes, multiple screens, because you're going to be working on multiple things at a time or what have you, you have this here. Again, you have a lot of options. I'm going to go back to single. That's not going to be important there. Point display, printing colors, what kind of default paper size you're going to be using. Um, if you plan on printing, you know, choose the appropriate size based off of what you're doing. ANSI A is pretty common simply because a lot of people have those kinds of printers at home. So there you go. I mean, printers for uh, ANSI A, you don't really tend to see people generally having NCB size or what have you at their 
house. Printing, we tend to go full color. You can also select grayscale or black and white. And line type, global line scale. Again, these are line scale and uh, point display are not things I commonly change in this. Should you feel like it, go for it but I don't change that here. All right, so that's the application preferences for defaults on new drawings. We know how to adjust those. We're gonna hit apply, hit okay, and we're good to go. Okay, now we wanna adjust all the settings on this drawing. Let's go ahead and change those dimensions. We're gonna go ahead and hit uh, those preferences, sorry. Um, go to drawing preferences under edit. Hit our dimension setting here and we'll see a lot of the same settings that we saw on the previous screen uh, but in this case we're going to go ahead and move to drawing unit make sure that we're an inch make sure that we're an inch and make sure that we are imperial again consistency across the board and we're going to go ahead and hit apply perfect okay that's been adjusted now we're going to go to our grid i mentioned earlier i want to show you isometric grid um, we're going to apply that here and you're going to notice that our grid here has is now displaying an isometric mode so if if I wanted to I can use the grid references in isometric to start drawing out um, ISOs should you want to it's there you don't have to it's not a necessity we'll show you how to to work within that space in the next video all right we're gonna remove that we're gonna remove the isometric Hit apply. We're now back to the originals. Uh, line type and point display, we're not going to change those. We're not changing viewpoints, colors, or page. We're going to keep those as they were. We only want one viewport as it makes it easier to see. Okay. So we're now in inches. We are about as ready as we can be when it comes to uh, starting off a new part. So I guess in the next video, we'll discuss a bit more about that. I will see you in the next one.